Hey guys, Apple Lee here, and in this video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up your new Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. So assuming you've switched on the phone, you can go ahead and press the power button and you'll be greeted by a welcome screen. So all you want to do is select your language and country, so in my case English and the UK. Go ahead and press start and then tap the Wi-Fi you want to connect to. And I'll just go ahead and type in the password. Press connect and it should go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi. And once it's connected you can press next and then you can agree to all or you can just agree to the top two there if you don't want to send diagnostics and get marketing information. So press next. Then it's going to check for an update. In this case there was none so we'll go ahead and skip the login but if you want to log into Google you can do and then you can download apps and use the Play Store and things like that. So we'll go ahead and skip this for now. Skip. And then here you can select, so allow Google to use location, improve wi uh, location sorry, by using Wi-Fi. So we'll leave those two on and then I've switched off help improve your Android experience by sending information. So I've switched that off and press next. And then type in your name. So I'll go ahead and type it in. and then press next and then you're greeted by protect your phone so you've got one of five options you can choose to set up a facial recognition you can use the fingerprint scanner on the back use the iris scanner use a pin pattern or password or you can just have no protection at all so we'll go ahead and set up the fingerprint scanner press next and then we'll press continue and then you have to have one of these in case your fingerprint doesn't work so we'll just go ahead and set a pin and this is if you want to require that pin upon startup, but we'll leave it to do not require. So we'll type in four ones for now. And then it wants you to place your finger on the fingerprint scanner here on the back. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then you lift up and place your finger on the fingerprint scanner again. You can see it's quite difficult to get. You want to cover the entire sensor. So you can see it's very difficult to actually get it on the fingerprint sensor without getting it on the camera. So you want to try and straighten up your finger and that seems to get it slightly better. and there we're at 100% and then you have an option here to add a second finger obviously it's quite difficult to add a thumb like if it was on the front so we'll just leave it at that one finger for now press continue and then we'll leave notifications on and then here you have the option with the uh, display options so you can leave uh, high content from your notifications but we'll leave that off and then we have notification icons only so we'll leave that off as well press done and then press next and then it's completing the setup and now we have the Samsung account so you can sign into your Samsung account here or you can skip it so we'll skip for now and press skip and then you can download your content from your old phone either by using Samsung Cloud or Smart Switch so I'll leave a link to a video down below if you guys want to see how to do that press skip and then it's giving us some more useful features so you can secure your stuff uh, by protecting it and putting it in the secure folder you can also set a screen layout um, and then down here at the bottom we have get weather and forecasts so we'll agree to all and press finish and it's just locating where we are and then we've set it up so this is the phone and you can see we're already getting notifications so that's how to set up your Samsung Galaxy S8. If you guys have any questions, do post a comment down below. And if you haven't entered the giveaway, I'll leave a link in the description as well. Make sure you subscribe for all the upcoming videos. And we'll make sure to watch the unboxing in the right there. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.